Good morning YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. My tan is tanning. <laughs> um, so we're officially, oh that's so bad. I'm tired. We are now officially reversing out. So I thought I would take you through the journey of the rest of this week, like post show um, into obviously off season. So I have quite a chilled day today. So I thought I would show you my new meal plan um, and some training today as well. So I'm not gonna start my new training plan until the next week. So we go to, we fly to Amsterdam on Sunday this week and we're not back till Wednesday. So realistically, it's probably better that I start a new training plan from then so that I've had a little bit more food, a bit more rest in between. So this week, basically just doing my normal training, just so the movements are the same, so there's nothing too much of a shock to my body um, and just using the food, putting the food to good use. Um, so yeah, I thought I would go through the rest of this week just as like my thoughts and feelings reversing out of show um, and show you my new food plan as well. So I'm training this morning with Eden. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go and film my training session as well for you. Um, and I don't have too much else to do today. So it'll be quite nice and chilled. I'm gonna do, I've got some work to do, but like online, so not one-to-one um, -one PT. I'll go back to one-to-one -one PT tomorrow. So I'm just going to make my pre-workout meal and I'm gonna show you all of my foods throughout the day as well. So meal, it's technically meal one because it's pre and it's, I haven't long woken up. So it is a bowl of oats um, and I will show you once it is done. So my pre-workout is now 50 grams of oats, 30 grams of whey mixed in, 100 grams of berries and 20 grams of dark chocolate. So I'm just making my drinks as normal. I have creatine in there, um, EAAs and L-glutamine and then I use this for my pump product, so the Conte one. Um, so I'm just going to sort those out and then we will be heading off. Thank you. 
Brightos. I am back from the gym. Very, very good session. Really enjoyed um, being somewhere new um, and it's just really refreshing to have a new space to do something to look forward to as well. Um, so yeah, that was a really, really good session. I'm just gonna make my post-workout meal, which is cream of rice, and I'm gonna make it into pancakes. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. So we got 75 grams of cream of rice. I'm gonna just put that in there. And with the cream of rice, we're going to put 30 grams of whey. It's like enough to make it into like a batter mix. A little bit of baking powder. Normally just do like a little teaspoon of that. Then I'm just gonna add the raspberries in there. 100 grams of raspberries. made the mix a bit runny but hey ho i'm not gonna lie these have really failed but i've had i added way too much water but i don't want to waste it so i'm still gonna eat them guys those pancakes failed so bad i put way too much water in so i'm just gonna leave a photo here of the ones i did yesterday because they were so much better right guys i'm just gonna make meal four i did prep it yesterday so all i'm gonna do is heat it up on the pan and then I'll show you when it's cooked and tell you what it is. So meal four is 100 grams of salmon. We've got 40 grams of rice noodles, 25 grams of pepper and 25 grams of like stir fry mix. And then I've got sweet chili sauce in there as well. Hey guys, it's now Wednesday. <laughs> it's um around 20 past half past one. Um, so yeah, last night I completely forgot I was recording um, and didn't film my last couple of meals. To be fair, I've been struggling to get all of the meals on plan in because my digestion hasn't been fantastic since obviously having things that I haven't had for a very long time. Um, so I've just had to go and pick up some things from B&M. So I thought I'd show you the stuff that I bought from B&M. Um, and then I'm training again tomorrow. So I'll show you the rest of the meals on my training day plan that I didn't put in from last night. So I did have my last meal, but I had like like an extra rice cake um, with some like peanut butter on just because I missed a couple of meals before and basically I'm getting like really bad heartburn slash indigestion so yeah I've been struggling with that we've added like you know little treats here and there um I don't I didn't buy anything extra from the shops on the Sunday when we went to um Asda all I bought was some crunch nut clusters um, and I've got through those already um, and basically I've got like I bought those cookies um, which we've got through now but I've just been having like little slivers here and there instead of having it all in one chunk and also having it alongside my other meals to make sure that I'm still getting a good amount of nutrition in um, so there's the, like little extra bits I've had over the last couple of days my weight has gone up quite a bit but I've also started my period today which is a good thing um, so I feel like the combination on all, all of that together the extra foods my digestion my tummy being really tiny um, isn't exactly helping so I'm going to show you the bits I got from B&M because everyone knows when you go to B&M or home, bar home bargains you pick up things you don't particularly need so I thought I'd show you those bits that I've got so first things first I brought some more sauces because I can't have sauces in prep, so it's really nice just to be able to actually just buy sauce um, to add to your meals. So I got these. They tend to be a lot cheaper um, in like home bargains and B&M and stuff. So grabbed those. I also grabbed um, another Sanex. I use this regardless because I've got sensitive skin slash eczema, so I always use Sanex 
regardless of if I'm in prep or competition prep. And I also grabbed one of these as well because they're a lot cheaper in those types, those types of shops. So I picked up some of this and their own brand one, basically like um uh what's it called? Like the Remy's or the Gaviscon, but like different brands just to help when I get this. I've also bought some um, digestive enzymes as well off of Amazon just to help my food digest a little bit more. And then I got some more of these because I really like the hazelnut ones and they do them in B&M. So got those. And then I also got like this one as well, which is like a vanilla flavor flav vanilla flavor one. Um, and then I just bought some garlic. And then these, I bought, they're really cool. <laughs> so they're hot chocolates. And also I put them in my um, coffee pod machine. So I bought these. And they have the Milky Way Mars Galaxy Bounty, Maltesers Galaxy Caramel, Twix and Snickers. So I thought we'll have a nice hot chocolate at some point. And then I'll show you these made as well. I just thought it was cool. I've never seen them before. So I picked them up because I'm allowed now. So yeah. Um, so yeah, there's a bit from today. Um, like I said, I'm going to film the rest of my meals tomorrow because I'm training tomorrow. So I'll film the rest of my training day foods tomorrow. Um, the rest day today. So I'm just going to, I've only had one meal so far just to help my body get back into digesting food properly instead of like overloading it with loads of food. So I've been at work all morning and my first meal I had around about uh, nine, nine, just after 10. So I do feel hungry now. So I'm going to make my next meal, which is the same as um, my first meal. Well, my third meal yesterday, which is the eggs, bacon, sourdough bread, etc. So yeah, and I will show you the rest of them tomorrow. Hey, YouTube. It's now Friday. It's nearly 3 p.m. on Friday. I'm such a shit YouTuber this week. I'm so sorry. So basically yesterday, again, I completely forgot to film. Um, I'm just kind of just like, ha I'm having a good week. I'm not saying that I'm struggling. Um, but yeah, I just completely forgot to do anything from yesterday. But I kind of, I had a good day and a bad day yesterday. So I had a really good training session which I did film to put onto my Instagram. I just didn't film the rest of my foods. The day just went quite quickly because I had to come home after that training session um, and then do some work. So I sat and did that and then just completely forgot that I was filming my meals. Um, my face looks a bit fuller. Um, <laughs> off topic. But yeah, so I wouldn't say I was struggling, um, but yesterday was quite a hard day. So. All I can say is just imagine dieting for half a year and not able to have anything that you enjoy in terms of food, all of your cravings all at once, um, and then put period cravings on top of that as well. So yeah, had quite a crazy day yesterday. Um, I have still been having my normal meals. Um, I did have some extra last night. So I just had a couple of bowls of cereal um, which I told Meg about this morning, so we're all good. But yeah, today I have started my cardio. So Meg put in 20 minutes of cardio on a rest day three times a week. So I started that yesterday. Obviously, I'm only going to go to... <laughs> I'm only going to do that. I did it today, tomorrow, and then we fly to Amsterdam on Sunday. So obviously, I'm not going to be able to get three lots in this week, but I have penciled it in to start next week as well. Um, when we're back from Amsterdam next week, I will start my full training rotation, which I'm excited for. I have changed gyms, which has actually been really good this week because it's given me something to look forward to. Um, and it's also just kept me in like quite high spirits. Um, but yeah, overall, doing okay. Just having some moments where it's a little bit harder because your I forgot how quickly your body goes back to normal <laughs> um yeah so I looked at myself in the mirror this morning and my legs are not tiny anymore my bum started to come back and it's only been a couple of days so it's actually crazy but I also need to remember as well obviously where I'm on my period and it's a heavy one I have a lot of inflammation from that too um so it's just it's just trying to keep your head straight because you've seen yourself shredded for so long uh, and now I look like semi-normal person 
and that's fine i'm still very lean uh but your brain plays tricks on you so yeah it's something that i'm having to just keep positive about <laughs> um and remind myself that this is what we're trying to do now um it's just difficult when you've like i said seen yourself so, so small for so long and that's obviously what we've been chasing as well so yeah i thought i'd just show you a couple of my rest day meals because i have actually only had one meal so far today i have been working um and i just cleaned the whole house which felt good i just had a shower and washed my hair um so yeah i've only i've got a couple of meals to have um I say a couple i've only had one meal so far which is a bowl of oats so it's the same as my um training day uh, just 10 grams less of dark chocolate so i thought i'd show you my other rest day meals today put those in instead and then i'll probably cut the video here and then do another one for a couple of days away in amsterdam and try and vlog some of that as well which will be quite nice so yeah sorry for being a bit mismatched this week but that's kind of how it is at the moment trying to get back into routine trying to just find your flow find your feet as well as obviously being allowed to have some extra foods and account for them and then going on holiday so just trying to get my um shit sorted basically so yeah i will take you through a couple of my meals i'm just about to make one actually so i'll show you what that is so meal two i have a pitta with 100 grams of raw weight chicken then there's 15 grams of uh 50 percent less fat cheese in there as well then some cucumber and some lettuce and then i put the nando's chili jam over the top and then 100 grams of grapes and a coke zero also just to add i keep getting loads of questions about the sword <laughs> i get to keep the sword okay um it's here with my other trophies i'll show you so this is the only place i can actually put it at the moment so we've got my winner ones from uk the fba then my first place from the um two bro show with my overall and then my fourth place ones from the finals so this is my little trophy cabinet <laughs> slash windowsill right so i've been doing some work um i'm just gonna heat up my next meal which i actually made the other day so it's all in here um and i'll show you what it is once i've heated it up and plated it up and then tell you what it is so it is 100 grams of beef mince 25 grams of pasta then i have 25 grams of peppers in there and then 100 grams of mixed veg so i've got like snap peas carrots broccoli and then there's 50 grams of sauce over the top as well so i use it's in the fridge so just used this one it's tomato and basil Bazo, <laughs> tomato and bazo, tomato and basil one. Um, the macros and calories are pretty good on that as does own one. So yeah, that is my next meal. So my next meal, we've got fifty grams of so sourdough bread, two whole eggs with some um, what are they called? Spring onions, two baked medallions. 50 grams of courgette with some garlic over the top and 100 grams of apple. And then I'm just going to put some of that over the top of there. I'm just going to do a little voiceover for this next meal because the air fryer was on and it was really loud. So basically what I do with my whey protein is I make it into a little mug cake. And so many people ask me how I do this. It's so easy. So you just add a little bit of water to your whey protein. I use vanilla and it was like a little vanilla cake. It was so nice. And then you basically just add a very small amount of baking powder. And then you put it in the microwave for around a minute. But you've got to keep an eye on it because it does puff up quite quickly. And then, yeah, basically you have a little cake and you can add whatever you want into it i've just added a little bit of dark chocolate in there so i add 10 grams of dark chocolate in there and it melts really nicely and then the rest of my meal for this is i have three rice cakes and 20 grams of honey 20 grams of peanut butter and 20 grams of raisins and that is my last meal Hi 
Hi guys, it's now Saturday, so I'm going to end the video here because we go to Amsterdam tomorrow. Um, so we're gonna pack our bags tonight. We need to leave super early in the morning, tomorrow morning, um, because our flight is 6.20 a.m. So we need to be there for four, which means we probably need to leave the house around 2 a.m. So yeah, I'm going to try and vlog as much as that as possible. But this week hasn't been too bad, to be fair, considering it's like post-show and you do get post-show blues. Um, I haven't experienced that because I've kept myself in a place where I've got things to look forward to um, and obviously changing gyms and having a new environment etc has been really nice obviously getting back to work as well is really useful because I get to catch up with my clients um, and just keep my brain busy so yeah I'm feeling good so far obviously there's been a few moments of like discomfort with food discomfort with my period pains um, and discomfort mentally because it is really hard not to overeat on things but I am excited to continue this journey and obviously I'll take you through Amsterdam when I'm back and into off season but thank you so much for watching thank you for all of your support as always and I will catch you in the next one also please like subscribe all of that good stuff I really do appreciate it um, and yeah I will see you uh, when we're in Amsterdam <laughs>